Right, lads. Well, today we test out Tonga trying to terrify the New Zealanders and uh, Tainu. That's my uh, Alzbo impression for the day. Um, you'll notice that I'm trying to sit as still as possible. That's because I have my cat on my lap. She's sleeping. And uh, whilst I do care about YouTube uh, at this present moment, it's, it's sort of taking a back seat. Oh, she getting up? She's thinking about it. Okay, there you go. She's a bit bleary eyed, but this is Pyrrha the cat. Very malleable as a cat. And she's gone. Right, with that out of the way, we can actually get on. So I thought I'd play as Polynesia because it's an area in which uh, pretty much no one plays. I think they played it once or twice after uh, the, the release of the DLC. But beyond that, no one, no one plays it. I myself have only played it once in a bad video I did this video, uh, sort of sarcastically. So today I'm going to give it a genuinely good effort and see if I can enjoy it at all or if it's as bad as everyone said. The so Tonga actually has a little bit of a custom mission tree along with all the other Polynesians. So we have to gain mana, so we have to have a prestige of at least 20 and a stability of 1 and we get government reform progress, which is a strange reward. Then we need to take out Samoa and with that we get loads of force tribute. Cassus Belli on like, was that everyone down here? We'd have at least 6 tributaries and at least 4 vassals. Oh, all 4 vassals. Okay, well we're going to be trying to go down generally this, this tree. So. We'll see what happens. All right, two galleys should be enough to take out this fleet. And then we've just got to pray that our troops can take out their troops. 2-2 two, two is not bad. I'm missing a cog. But I want to stick to the mission tree as much as possible. This is this is the duality of late. Because realistically, if I don't stick to the mission tree, then I've just conquered these areas for no reason. Because I'm going to be stuck here and I kind of want to follow the mission tree. All right, well, we're sort of quite a few loans deep now. So go ahead and grab this. Leave the cogs behind. Fight them navally. Dogs are a good source of food. Oh, that's upsetting. Go, first of the month. If I can land, I won't take any attrition. I land on the 25th of April. Screw it, we're gonna, we're gonna bet. Damn it! <laughs> I'm so poor. The odds were so good. How much do I spend on fleet maintenance? Uh, like nothing. Army maintenance is the main thing. And of course, interest. We have to have an army of equal or larger than 10,000 and we get forced tributary states on a lot of people. Oh, nice, religious sacrifices, brilliant. Minus 20% stability cost modified for the rest of the game is always lovely. Then tries the realm, that gives us uh, more good stuff, apparently. So that's nice. Absolute rule. Land owned by the crown is the 50%. What would that give us? Monthly autonomy change for the rest of the game. Oh, I love that. I don't know if we're allowed to embrace feudalism or not. I'll give it a go. Repay all our loans. Lovely. And that gives us a skill 1, 50% cheaper guy. Okay, that's good. We're on Miltech 3, everyone else is on Miltech 2. I honestly, I think it's worth just dumping the points into here, trying to get feudalism. Ah. He's strict, but he's also craven. Tributary states on Vili, Vanua, and Lao. Sure. Oh, that's another nation? Oh my god, there's so many little islands. All right, let's grab this tributary state. Who are you allied to? Is it Lao? So you're just allied to each other? Hmm. You know what I like? Efficiency. Let's just go ahead and go to war with you guys as well. Okay, so that was a mistake. We're going to have to take out some loans now. Grab ourselves some look alleys. <laughs> issue is they're now going to build up their strength. So we are going to have a Tongan tributary. Did I put him at war with it? Why, why is he on the same side as us? Gotta keep an eye on this uh, Samoan uprising. Okay, well, there, there goes a bunch of my ships. See, that's what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna harsh. I've, I've lost twice now on that. I've been absolutely scammed. My war resources are gonna be skyrocketing. Oh, God. Do I just take the L? Do I just lose? Uh, we need the money. Oh, we've got another reform. Uh, religious society or lip service? Probably religious society. It's always good. Four years of just being blockaded and trapped in this stupid island. Honestly, they could have destroyed me by now. Could have just landed troops. The AI was a little bit smarter. Glad it's not, obviously, but... So, fleets-wise, they have, like, more ships than I do, but I've got galleys. There we go. Finally. All right, there we go. It's over. And all it cost us was our entire economy. Right, we have feudalism now. Am I allowed to embrace it? I can embrace it. Wonderful. Now we just need to do the renaissance. Let's probably do it in Samoa. Because realistically, there's no other dangers around here. Hongan vassal. Excellent. And now we get a bunch more stuff. So we get tributary claims on all these people. My temptation is to go immediately in after them. Because they all have Miltech 2 and I'm going to have Miltech 4. What do I need for the mission? I need at least four vassals. So I need two more vassals and then I can just conquer everyone else. So you and you and then everyone else I can just go in after. So who has the least amount of allies? I think you don't have any allies. So I can repay my debt after I've conquered New Zealand. I might need one or two more ships though. So more debt. And then we'll fight you. And then yeah, we'll just conquer the rest. Okay, so we go for these guys now. We need access from like you oh, let's go murder him welcome big stick i maybe like obsidian knives or something all right you two will be my vassals everyone else on this island is going to be conquered do you have a fort why does everyone always have a fort okay to be clear do you have claims you do so we're just going to go instantly and yeah attack everyone at least four vassals yeah for the rest of the game diplomatic reputation plus one existing plus two Ooh, i wonder if we could become the holy Roman emperor with this because plus one from our missions permanent plus two from our ideas 
And then we could probably get another plus like six from ideas. I can't believe I had developer. It's, it's 1470 and I'm developing Renaissance here faster than I would do if I was in like Southeast Asia. Because I'd have been conquering. We've taken one province. We get decent mana generation from Monarch Power. I don't like the word mana. Confirmed, Lathe does not like the word mana. There we go. So now I want to take you both as my vassals. So let's do that. Hello, I am a big bad guy from the sea. And that's... I'm going to have to fight you and also you. That's ideal. Right, that instantly puts us at war with a lot of people. Like a lot of people. Okay, we need to go straight in here. Oh, good. He's... Okay, yeah, one second. There's a lot going on. Okay, so he is exiled. That's 10,000 troops. I don't know where you got that from, but sure. Uh, we're going to need the free company, which means uh, more loans, boys. Okay, who are we at war with? The rest of the island. 3,000 troops, zero troops. So it's just you two. That should fulfill the mission. Tongan supremacy. Wonderful. Okay, there's 3,000 troops there. I just push in here. There should be nothing to threaten us. Okay, we should be fine. Which reacts is from Nigiti Awa. Can't because you, my enemies have guys in your borders. Okay, brilliant. And I'm assuming all these things have forts. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Alright, let's see how good our air is. We've got a siege pip at least. Okay, we just got another spearman. And we also got renaissance. Okay, good. Assume we can just take that whenever. Yeah, we can. Okay. Well, whenever is now. And that is how in 1470 we picked ourselves up some renaissance. So now time to get on par technologically with the Europeans. We're also gonna have to maybe develop colonialism in about 30 years. Focus diplomatic power because we're probably gonna need it when we integrate all these vassals. Can I take this? Yeah, I can. You are probably unnecessary now. Uh, in fact, I kind of want to murder you. That was a weird way to go around the world. Hang on. Hey! <laughs> Instead of just going like here, you're a little bit off center. It goes around the world. That's that's fun. I'm going to be doing a lot of that when I'm sitting around waiting for anything to happen in this stupid game. Because ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, we've, we've done the interesting part. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stick around to find out what the hell I do next. Because God knows I don't know. Let's grab that. And also that. I'm going to disable the cost to annex our boys. Probably a good idea. Own and core province with 30 development. We've got 36. Nice. Embrace Renaissance Institution and keep it in every province you own. Nice. Uh, probably uh, the development, developed colonies one, right? Alright, let's take this land. Then let's go ahead and just take you out. Yeah, it turns out I'm not going to need that military access. I think you can guess why. Well, I'm going to need access to my military. It's just I don't need your permission for it. Oh man, the natives even rebelled against them. Ideally, I win these before the rebels rise up. Ideally. Probably won't play out like that, but... I've let you know what the idea is, and we move forward. Early Carrick, lovely. We can build a flagship now. Just so advanced. We are actually on par with the Europeans in tech. We're probably like one Miltech behind-ish. But not like, it's not like dramatically behind. I don't have to fight this if I don't want to. I don't want to. Right, and that's United Home Region, right? So, what do I do now? What, I need to have allies for that? At least two countries have an alliance. Well, that's, I can't do that. I've united my home region. Oh, wait, I need to actually own these stupid individual provinces. As in like... I have to own... Oh, great. I've got to colonize them. Honestly, I do not care for these castles and such. Oh, we've united the tribes now. So, uh, I don't need you anymore. Oh, I could offer you vassalization. I think I'd rather just conquer you, to be honest. There's some annexation done. Yeah, none of my other vassals are ready for annexation just yet. Why do you hate me? I force vassalize you, vassalize you, and I annex the vassal. I did do both of those things. I can't, I can't really fault that. Where's my force limit? 20. Damn, that is painful. I lost more than the rebels. Go ahead and... Take out loan and grab the free company to come and just mop up all these rebels with me. Just easier. Because money isn't isn't a thing anymore. We don't need it. Like for combat or anything else, we can just sit there and passively gain it. Come on, it's like they heard my money coming and just don't want to rise up anymore. Kind of spike. Very rude. Might actually go bankrupt, you know. We're like quite far into debt. Okay, who else we got left? Noble rebels and this lot. Noble rebels aren't actually gonna rise up, are they? Ah. Okay, now I'm just gonna rush down colonization process. Basically, that's that's the plan. I've got like three texts to go. Alright, wonderful. Samoa's opinion of Samoa Samoa's dead. There is no Samoa. Okay, our fleet is actually costing us quite a bit now. So I'm going to go ahead and delete you guys. I do also do not need 16 transports. Maybe 10. Like, you have to know this is coming, right? Yeah. You can't be unaware of this. And then there was one. We have 317 in loan. How do I still not have manpower? Like, there's, there's nothing here. Right, that's it. That's the end of it. I can just sort of get rid of this army too. Just that, maybe. At the very least, I'm going to mothball this fleet. Reach at least 100 development in your nation. That's nice. Instead of Discover America, because I can't do that. We're close to that 50% crown land. Well, that's nice. Manpower level is 75%. Yeah, I, I think we can manage that one. Right, we're going to enforce a bit more direct control by uh, doing that. Then the rebels rise up again. So I probably shouldn't have uh, so I probably shouldn't have consolidated my men, but oh well. It'll take six, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and this is the last guy. Well, lads, look at that. It's a world conquest. What a joke. What a beautiful joke. I've been waiting here for the last, like, 20 minutes waiting for that joke. Honestly. All right, here we go. The bet. 
Every time. Ooh, a 3332. What was that during the times where I actually had conflict? Stop giving us all hell Luna stuff, please. More loans. Who are we indebted to? It's just us here. Can't wait until we have to develop colonialism. Oh, God. So as you can see, our uh, minus 25 limited desire from subject development has really, really helped us out here. We're set up to be a, like sort of a vassal uh, overlord. But the thing is, there's no point in having vassals in this region. I'm actually that, not that far off of being a great power. No force limit modifier minus... Why? I don't need a, a, a fleet. I kind of do to transport between the islands, but other than that. Tongan Noble Rolls. These guys could literally be anywhere. So I'm not going to provoke them. I'm just going to chill. Okay, actually. Samoa, Lao, or Taranaki. So they'll actually they'll rise up in Samoa, won't they? Because it's the highest developed province. That's a trick I learned. 3,000 hours and I'm still learning new things. Either that or I'm wrong and I'm about to have a miserable experience. Yeah, I'm wrong. The guy on Twitch chat lied to me. This is why you should never stream. <laughs> it's not true. I do stream. I'm on twitch.tv forward slash social streamers. Solid plug, Lake. Well done. Pretty sure our debt has just stayed consistent. We've just consolidated it a bit more. And we've eaten more dogs. That's all this gameplay is. Just eat dogs. Okay, right. I need to try and make this more interesting. Otherwise, people will have clicked off about five minutes ago because God knows I wish I had. If you're here, you're a masochist, by the way. Why would Paradox do this, man? I'm dying. I'm having to make this to a full video. All the events just make me lose ducats such that I'm permanently in debt. I've lost more money on, on events than I have from the actual wars themselves. Why are half the events just designed to lose me things? Okay, cool. We can actually take an idea group now. So let's go exploration ideas. For the love of God, let's go exploration ideas. Let's start a golden era. Yes. Really, really feels like our golden era. All right, boys. Time to figure out what, what's happening out in the, in the wide world. Go. Explore. Southwest Pacific is the only place we can go. Okay. Now, I really did want to become a horde, but it doesn't, it doesn't make sense because I can't, I can't raise anything. So I would just ruin my own nation. As much as I want to become a horde, I can't. Theocracy could be fun. Doesn't make any sense, but it could be fun. Girl, we're going theocracy. Okay, can we colonize any of these? No, we're too... <laughs> we're too far away to colonize! <laughs> okay, it's finally. Calm down. Calm down. You're good. You're good. You're safe. Safe place. Let's find out what we can colonize. It's like we're going to Papua New Guinea, boys. Got another loan. Why are we losing five a month? Oh, from corruption. Can we take out some 1% interest loans, please? All right, well, we can grab ourselves a colonist, at the very least. Uh, native policy, probably repression, just to make it as quick as possible. Let's go colonize probably over here, right? Try and get into Southeast Asia, take our troops over to our newfound colony, the Solomon Isles, and let's attack the natives here. Are they all dead? They're all dead, good. Oh, we can't afford this colony. This doesn't matter, of course. And our devotion is just declining. Why? Why is our devotion just declining? Base value 0 minus 0 0.5. Are we not meant to be a, a, a clerical state or something? Tonga? Really? Oh, for God's sake. What other expenses can we slash? State maintenance can't really do anything about that. The rest of the stuff is pretty standard. Uh, I'm assuming colonialism has happened. It has, which means we need to find another place for us to... Probably one of these islands, right? Yeah. Gain four corruption. This is what I mean, man. This is just... It just it's constant. I can't get out of debt. I can't do it. It's impossible. It's gone beyond the point of it being funny. I'm genuinely frustrated. <laughs> I'm not even having it up for the video. This is like actual frustration how stupid this is. It shouldn't be like this. What the hell were they thinking when they put this in the game? I'm actually so mad. I can't get out of debt. <laughs> Look at this, just more of this. Why? My unrest is literally, well, it's just more losing prestige, losing at a rest. <laughs> Why would you play this? <laughs> just, uh... It's just so bad. I, I've, I've been at pieces the entire time. My debt's only increasing. I've not been doing anything. Don't you dare lose that. I can't. I'm on the brink of doing something real stupid. Just emotionally. <laughs> not the loan. I have a devotion of at least 90. That's never happening. Dude, that corruption hurts so badly. I'm forced to choose a merchant son each time. Just so I have some cash. I'm not Betty anymore. I'm not Betty. Every time I've tried it, I've been very badly hurt. <laughs> I might just take out a huge amount of loans, build a bunch of buildings, and then just go bankrupt. Because at this point, I don't know if I can get out of this debt. I'd love to. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to get out of this debt. I just can't. I need to go and take this guy's wealth. <laughs> just more prestige decay, money loss. Can I have like a good event? I'd love one. Give me a bark. I don't need bark because I don't need them. All right, one more. One more little tick, and then we get... Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> a good event. It's, it's enough to pay off a loan. Why did I say anything? Oh, come on! James, please! I just paid off a loan. Don't make me take out another one. Well, click in the button. You can't make me. Okay, so we get internal mission. External mission. Mission to civilize. Mission on the high seas. We're gonna go for mission to civilize, even though it doesn't give us any bonuses. Because we're, like, killing all the natives. Just because... 
I think it suits our, our mission. We're just going around trying to get everyone to be animus, even though these places are already animus. Our first colony is almost done, and then we can actually fight someone. That'll be fun. Pay their money to pay off these loans. Just more. Lose their devotion. Our devotion is, is 30 right now, which gives us a negative 10% to our national tax. Got one colony finished, and then I'm going to plant my flag right here. Because there's gold. <laughs> and I need the money. I've been scouting this for a while, boys. Surely, wait, you guys don't have fleets, do you? I need a distance guy. I need the gold too badly. I'll, I, I mean, I'll spend the money, man. Oh, no. I'm going to go bankrupt like this. No. I spent all my money on that. Okay. Okay. We just keep going. We keep going. We keep moving. I need that gold. Okay, five more. Four more. Three more. There we go. My God. I spent like a good 300 ducats on this, despite the fact I've been hideously in debt. Just so I can head over here to this gold province. I'm going to expel a minority to get there. I mean, sure, I can make you into a state, but like, is there much of a point? Oh my god, gold is absolutely the sign of nobility. Okay, I'm going to murder all the natives here. Actually, no, I'm not. Can't just leave, man. I need, I need, I need to fabricate a claim. Don't, don't, don't move. <laughs> I need conquest in my life. Don't move. Don't run. Stay. Dude, I can't wait to have this gold mine. Oh my god, my life's going to be significantly improved. My IRL at this point. Has anyone actually enjoyed one of these playthroughs before? Why are you still watching? Why am I still playing? It's like they created an emotional, like, I don't know. I'm trying to, like, discover things about myself. Why is my, why is she called Kate? High Priest, oh, it's Kale. It's a dude. Come on, lady. Okay, when does that end? In two months. Okay, so my co the colony doesn't get plus one. Great. Okay, well, I've been distracted now. Okay, they have, like, 36,000 troops. They have double my troops. So they also have, like, half of my tech. The math seems to work out. What do all these spiky things mean? Federation land? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, this is exactly what I needed. Don't you dare touch that colony. I swear, if anything happens to any- Oh, the boy. Okay, so we're against- We're at war with like a lot of people, so we need to start acting like it. We've got free war taxes, right? No, we don't. The age is over. Okay, what are the stats like? They have- well, It's a good job we've got better tech because they have better morale. If they burn that colony, I'll lose my mind. That's a lot of troops. That's like 40,000. I can't beat 40,000 troops. How do you have admin di diplo better diplo tick than I do? Dude, I can't beat that many. Why's my free company only got 4,000? Tongan troops are not exactly renowned for fighting at this point. I'm gonna have to take out more loans. Give me something good. Not land force limit modifier. Give me something good. Not fort defense. Because <laughs> Tonga can't make it a core. You know what? I don't need to fight. We can just wait until their uh, users and takes down. Also, for some reason, yeah, I can't make it a core. Screw it. I want blood. Let's go for it. I got a 3 3. I swear to God, I, was, I thought I was gonna lose that. Right, let's. Unblockade the un siege this. De siege it. Come on, Lee. But can it make you into a vassal? Now can I make it into a core? Yes, I can. This is what we want to see. This is progress. Like you've just given me a province. What do you mean? I can't make it into a core. Cool. So I can't actually make this a core. They just gave it to me. I can't even return it to anyone. I'm just stuck with this province. You know what? Let me uh give it to him at some point. And then he has to take it. And then I've, I can fix him in place. Oh, <laughs> So when I needed one, I had to spend 400 ducats to get it. Now I don't need one. There's two half price. There's three of them there. I'm taking all of this. I don't care what happens next. I'll oh, call another idea group. Uh, probably going to go with uh, expansion. Given there's nothing else to do around here. Well, actually, having said that, we are kind of getting to a point where we can conquer here and then hop, skip a jump into India, for example. Why do you allow me to take it if I can't make it a call? All right, let's hire ourselves a conquistador to try and take us through these lands. I think we should each have, like... I think each distinct group should have their own different uh, variant on like conquistador because I feel like uh, Tonga having a conquistador is a, a bit strange right we're gonna get some more colonial range which gives us a yearly prestige yay but that should yeah we can call this stuff now okay that's good you know screw expansion ideas we don't need expansion ideas we need, we need something like probably military like uh like you know quantity would probably do us quite well Pick a quantity. Stop making me pay people off. I don't have the money for that. The state does need the money. Now that we're aware of what's going to happen here, I'm going to take all of your lands. There's nothing you can do about it. I'd say that you did this to yourself, but quite literally you did nothing. I just turned up on your shores one day and, and murdered you. Huh, you still have land somewhere. That's fine. I'll just take most of it. Right, now I'm going to force this guy to stop migrating because it upsets me. Take Gubby Gubby. What? Well, did... <laughs> he took it and destroyed it. What an absolute alpha! I was gonna do an Australian accent, be like, yeah, nah, mate, so good. And then I realized that they wouldn't be Australian. These are the, the, the natives. Alright, we discovered most of Australia. 
less than half of Australia. Got a control of Tasmania though, so there's that. I don't like this. No! Ah! I didn't know there'd be a thousand of this in 300. Right, that's it. That's it. We have each <laughs> killed them all. Sick. Tired of this. Oh, we get modernization of, Oce of Oceana. That's nice. Well, the Southwest Pacific. It's nice. Figure out if there's anyone else out there beyond just Tonga for us to conquer. Because this is disgusting border goal. These robots are so much easier to deal with because they have the technology of the people around here. So they're on like Miltic 5 and stuff. Go. Our money issues, they're solved. We make money. We're stable. I can end the video. <laughs> I feel horrible. And ladies and gentlemen, that's where we'll leave it for today. I've been playing almost a hundred years of this. Well, I would, I mean, I think this is a war crime. I don't think you, you should be allowed to do this to people. Uh, force them to play this. But uh, if I were to continue and there, there's... <laughs> no. I think I would probably uh, go about conquering Australia and then probably head into Southeast Asia versus America and uh, and conquer these sorts of areas. Uh, yeah, beyond that, I don't know, probably take on China, take the Mandate of Heaven, that sounds like fun, and convert everyone to animism. So boys, if you at all respected the torture I just put myself through, Please do uh, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out and it just pushes it uh, to more people and helps game the algorithm just a little bit. So if you want to be part of that, please do uh, do those things. Otherwise, follow me on Twitter, I guess. Might pin a comment. Who knows? And uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons. Most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Once you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.